Hi, my name is Jack from My Consult, and today we look at one of the questions which our clients have been asking us. How do I set different payment voucher number if I have multiple bank accounts? So in this example, let's say we click account maintenance here. So you can see here, what happens is this account we have one, two, three, four, five different bank accounts. So to do this, the first thing we need to do is we need to come here to general maintenance here. We come here to document numbering format maintenance. So we come here to select here. GL cash payment so you can see we already have a few PV numbers so let's say I want to create a new one save for public bank so you press new then from here I can say okay I want to follow the same format so PV for public bank here I can set PV dash PVB dash 000 okay so this is the format that I want to use so once we're done we just press OK and we have already created the format already here so the next thing that we need to do is we must link it to our public bank bank account so to do that we come here again to general maintenance we need to come here to payment method maintenance all right so when the payment method you can see there's one called public bank so to link that account we need to come here to edit so you can see here there's a payment document numbering format so now currently it's linked to cimb which is wrong so we can actually come here, we can actually change this to public bank. Alright, so once done, we just press OK. Alright, done. So let's say example, we want to try to create a new payment voucher. So I'm coming to GL here, cash book entry. So we press new. So press new payment voucher. Alright. And from here, we will select example. Now we want to use the public bank one. So set press PBB. So straight away you can see here the number is PV dash PBB01. So as long as you change the bank account, let's say example May Bank. So you see it's PV and BB0012. So right now uh, once you actually done this, you do not need to actually manage your PV numbers manually. Alright. So that's actually how easy it can be done in AutoCount. So if actually you find this guide helpful, do like and subscribe to be notified when we release new videos. Thank you.